So I wanted to take some time to share a little bit about my fitness journey. A little bit about my background and how I got into fitness. I started really getting serious about fitness and lifting in I'd say around 2012. When I went away to college was when I really started uh, to struggle. I started seeing my weight that and like the control that I felt like I had over my body just sort of like slip right away from me and I didn't know what to do at that time I didn't have any knowledge about nutrition or about training um, I thought the way that you had to lose weight and look good was to restrict your calories and live on cardio machines and so all throughout college uh, that's pretty much what I did I went from some really uncomfortable highs in my weight to some really really unflattering and unhealthy lows and I was constantly on this like like up and down cycle because I wasn't doing it the healthy way. I lacked knowledge. It was creating this constant like up and down vicious cycle and I was miserable. I started experiencing like horrible body image issues, major slumps in my self-confidence and I just felt lost, honestly. Like I, I just didn't know what to do. I was uncomfortable, I was unhappy and I would say that um, I followed these sort of like non-sustainable approaches all throughout college, all throughout undergrad, and I was just constantly struggling. Even into grad school, I struggled too. So for those of you that don't know, I went to graduate school for psychology. That is actually my background. My master's is in psychology. I worked full time as a psychologist for about four years before I got into fitness full time and became a certified personal trainer and sports nutritionist. And I would say all throughout, uh, even grad school, I struggled a lot with my weight and just my body image in general and my self-confidence. It was right when I graduated grad school, I just said to myself, all right, Karen, you've accomplished your education goals. You know, it's time to really focus on your mental and emotional health and your confidence. You know, I am gonna get in the gym. So I started seeing my body change and I started getting that confidence that I once had way back when. It was coming back slowly and surely and I was feeling strong, but not just on the outside, like from the inside out. I just kept at it. I was hooked. I was addicted. It was in 2012 when I decided that I would start prepping for my first bikini competition. Crazy enough and proud enough to say that I actually won that show. I uh, won my first competition and I went on to do another one about a month after that and I won the overall at that show. And so needless to say, I was hooked. This is giving me so much life. And um, <clears throat> So I went on to compete nationally and um, eventually earned my pro card after four national shows. And um, while all this was happening, I was still working full time as a school psychologist. And um, to be perfectly honest with you guys, I struggled a lot. That was another area where I started dealing with a lot of anxiety, um, eventually started dealing with some depression because um, I realized that what I was doing was not um, it wasn't my purpose. It wasn't uh, what woke me up excited in the morning and it wasn't what fueled me and what made me feel fulfilled. And I struggled with that because I had invested so much in it. And I was um, scared to walk away from it. It was secure. I was scared of letting people down. I was scared of letting the expectations of others down. And um, But at the end of the day, I was just was not happy and I dealt with a lot of anxiety and depression around that and um, around my fourth year working as a psychologist it just I got to a breaking point my anxiety levels were at an all-time high I was seeking counseling because I was dealing with a lot of anxiety and depression and um, at that point I said this is it Karen and I put in my letter of resignation I took a leap of faith and I went for it and um, here I am in 2017. I get out of bed every single morning before the alarm clock even goes off and I am absolutely thrilled to be doing what I am doing. My passion and my purpose is to change women's lives. It is to help you guys find the same health and the same happiness because I will be perfectly honest with you, I wholeheartedly believe that fitness saved my life and I know that it can for so many other people and that is my passion and my purpose. It is to 
teach, it is to educate, and it is to show you that there is a sustainable and enjoyable approach that you can take with you for the rest of your life, and you can be your happiest self, you can be your best self, and you can live life the way that you're meant to. With that being said, I appreciate you guys watching this video. It's kind of been a long one. I'm so excited to have you here, and I hope you guys are enjoying your day.